Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and today is a pretty special video because I'm here with my first Godzilla figure related video. Now this isn't really going to be a full on review, I guess I'm just going to be talking a little bit about a recent purchase that I made and it's the Bandai Movie Monster Series Millennium Godzilla vinyl figure or Godzilla 2000 and um yeah, right off the bat, I am super, super impressed with this figurine. It looks absolutely amazing. So I'm going to basically just talk a little bit about the figurine, uh, show a few different angles and shots of the figure, and give my opinions on it. So overall, um, super, super impressed with this. Um, the detail right off the bat looks absolutely amazing. It's a pretty simple figurine when you really think about it. Um, it's just a vinyl figure, but yeah, the paint job on the body and the detailing looks absolutely fantastic. The spikes look absolutely stunning. I love the colouring of the spikes. I love the way they look. Uh, nice purple colour. And the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt is definitely the best part of this figurine. To me, it's extremely movie accurate, which I like, and just the paint job and the detailing on the head sculpt look absolutely fantastic. I really like the eyes, the mouth and the teeth, um, yeah, just absolutely spot on. So, yeah, this is just an absolutely incredible figure. I don't really have much more to say. Um, I will quickly say, in terms of articulation, um, it doesn't really have a lot. But for me, when it comes to Godzilla figures, there doesn't really need to be much articulation to keep me happy. Um, the arms have articulation, the legs do, and so does the tail, and that's it. But as I said, um, in my opinion, Godzilla figures don't really need a lot of articulation. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, I think this figure is absolutely fantastic, and... I definitely highly recommend it if you are a fan of this era of Godzilla and this particular suit of Godzilla. Yeah, the figure, in my opinion, is extremely well detailed. The paint job looks really, really good. And most importantly, it's uh, pretty screen accurate. So all in all, I love this figurine. I'm very, very happy with it. By the way, I picked it up from Amazon.com.au and I paid about $30 for it, which I think is a pretty good value, um, especially considering figurines are kind of hard to get over here in Australia, so I'm pretty happy with uh, what I paid for this guy. And uh, yeah, I don't really have much more to say other than I absolutely love this figurine. I think he looks absolutely awesome and a great addition into my collection. So. Guys, let me know what you think of this guy in the comment section below. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.